You're listening to the Magnetic Boss Podcast, a place for spiritual entrepreneurs and visionary women. I'm Calandra, intuitive brand designer and founder of the Magnetic Boss Studio, where we cultivate magnetic brands, websites, and a social media presence for our clients. On this podcast, you'll learn how to begin cultivating your magnetic brand so you can attract dream clients with ease. Each month, we'll bring you real, raw conversations and industry guest experts to help you create your most magnetic self. Thank you for listening today. Now let's get this party started. Today, I want to talk to you about redefining your brand identity. And this episode is going to be paired with some really beautiful background noise of raindrops hitting the car because I'm sitting in my car recording this for you today and it just so happens to be raining. So we are still in the beginning of the new year. We're in this season of visioning and planning. And in the last episode, I shared with you creating your vision for 2022. If you didn't grab that download, it is still available. I will make sure to put the link for that sign up in the show notes of this episode. Um, But right now is a really important time. It is so helpful in your business to pause every once in a while and allow yourself the time and space for these pulse checks to really ask yourself, what do you want next? What do you desire most? And how are you going to show up and embody that? And so one of the things that I want to walk you through today, which is another free download that I'm going to be sharing with you. This one will be available inside of the Magnetic Boss Collective over on Facebook. You can join our Facebook community. It is such a high vibe space. We are building connections over there, sharing our businesses. And of course, I'm sharing tips and resources and downloads like this one with you in that community. So go over on Facebook, make sure you are there and you have turned your notifications on so that you don't miss a single thing. In this episode, I want to walk you through how exactly to redefine and unlock your brand identity in this season and as we walk ourselves through 2022. These are some of the things that I ask my clients every time they come into the brand incubator experience, and it's also something that I ask myself in in my business on a regular basis. This is the foundational work. You do not want to skip over any of these questions. So if you have a notebook handy, write them down. If you are driving or doing your laundry or whatever else it might be, just know that you can grab this download in the collective. Okay, so the first question to ask yourself is, what is your brand mission statement? This is what your business is desiring to do. This is the change that you desire to create. Your mission for your business is how you're going to impact lives and create transformation for the people that you serve, whether that's through services or products or however it is that you show up in the world, you need to be really clear on what your mission is. This doesn't have to be a long drawn out essay. It really can be something as simple as whatever your brand name is helps I'm just going to give you mine. (laughs) Spiritual entrepreneurs stand out in the online space and create magnetic brands, right? That's really clear. It tells you who I help and how I help them. That's really all that mission statement needs to include. Okay. And then the next thing that I want you to ask yourself is what are your brand values? And you can create as many of these as you would like. I would stick to three or five. In the worksheet, it says your top five brand values, but really these are the things that you can anchor into no matter what you do in your business, how you pivot. This is going to help you identify whether or not you're on the right track, whether or not the offers that you're creating align with your brand values, if your content strategy aligns with your brand values. This is something that we walked through Additionally, in the vision planning document, and it's something that I really think is so important for you to return back to again and again. I personally have my values up on sticky notes in my workspace so that I see them every single day. Next question. Who were you before the world told you who you needed to be? 
Who were you before the world told you who you needed to be? Now, this is a deep question. This is going to do, going to involve a little bit of reflection and soul searching and thinking back to maybe even your younger self, your inner child, because along the way, no matter what our upbringing has been and our life experiences have been, there was a time, and I know I can think back to this for myself really clearly, there was a time in your life where you didn't give a fuck what anybody else thought about you, right? You weren't worried about the girls in your class. You weren't worried about your teachers. You weren't worried about your colleagues. You weren't worried about the person doing the same exact thing that you were doing in your industry, right? And this is something that leaks into our business every single day. And I truly believe that in order for you to have a really powerful magnetic brand, your brand needs to be so unique to you that nobody else can compare. So this is where you have the opportunity to go back home to who you were before the world told you who you needed to be. We're breaking all of the rules, we are shifting all of the paradigms, and we're really allowing ourselves to be sovereign in what our mission is what we're here to do, and how we're here to do that. This question might take you a little bit of time, but that's totally okay. You can work on this and come back to it any time that you desire. I also encourage you to keep this as a living, breathing document so that you can update it as you are finding new things or discovering new things. I know that the reflection for me happens most when I am driving or when I'm taking a shower. So just give yourself the space. Don't force yourself to sit down and answer this question if it doesn't feel like that's an easy question for you to have the answer for. Okay, the next couple of questions are around your brand foundations when it comes to your positioning and your messaging. So the first thing that you want to be crystal, crystal clear on is who are your dream clients? Now you've probably done this exercise a million times in your business, or maybe you haven't looked at this ever before, but it is one of the most important things to understand because if you know who you are talking to, if you know who are you marketing to, if you know who your offers are for, it's going to be a lot easier for you to fill those offers and allow yourself to attract and magnetize the people that you actually want to work with. So something that I recommend is to find somebody that you have worked with before if you are seasoned in your business and really evaluate what about that person do you enjoy? Is it the way that they communicate? Is it the way that they handle task lists? Is it the way that they make payments on time, right? What are the things that you really, really enjoy about your favorite clients or client? And if you haven't had that experience before, just think about the perfect scenario for you. Who would you really love to work with and get excited to work with? And then the next thing that I want you to be thinking about and asking yourself is, what is your audience's experience? And not just your audience, but also your clients. So this is kind of a two-part question. The first one is understanding what your audience experience is. The people that are on the outside of your business that are maybe discovering you for the first time or following along secretly on Instagram, maybe they're not even engaging, but what is their experience when they are consuming your content and seeing you show up in the online space? What are some of the feelings that are created for them? And then the same thing for your clients. When somebody is working with you, what can they expect? Are you checking in with them consistently? Are you opening up a clear line of communication? Do you have things organized in a systematic way so that they don't feel lost or confused? How are you celebrating them and lifting them up and cheering them on and leaving them feeling more empowered than they were before they started working with you? So all of these touch points are going to be indicators of your client experience. And one of the best things that you can do in this situation when it comes to reflection is to ask your clients, the people that have worked with you before, whether that's in a paid offer or a free offer, ask them what their experience was like. You can ask them specific questions or just ask them to give a summary of their experience. And that is going to help you understand what is sticking out to people the most. And this is going to be your offer differentiator. This is going to be the way that you 
you position your brand differently in the market based on what people are experiencing when they work with you. Because the truth is that there are so many people doing the same exact thing that you do, right? Solving the same problem that you solve, but you do it in a very different way. And so this is a really huge part of redefining your brand identity in this new year. Now, using that information, using that feedback that you got, or really just allowing yourself to explore what you really desire to create for people, the next thing that you want to hone in on is your messaging. So when you are writing your copy, whether it's for social media or on your website or anywhere else that you are writing things down that are representing your business, you want to be using the language of your dream clients. You want to be positioning your phrases in a way that resonate with the people that are looking to have their problems solved. Because if somebody is reading through your copy and it's confusing for them, they're far less likely to make that investment and take that next step with you. So do your keyword research. Make sure that you understand the language of your clients inside and out so that when you are writing and when you are speaking, when you're recording videos or podcast episodes or whatever it might be, you're using those touch point words, right? You're using those words that are creating a light bulb inside of your audience's head so that they know that you are going to help them in whatever, whatever area it is that you are going to help them improve. Okay, next question. Now that you know who your ideal client is and you know how you want them to feel and you know the language that they are looking for, the things that are going to resonate with them, the really important question to ask yourself now is where are they going to find you? How are they going to discover your brand? So there can be many, many layers to this process, but I want you to list out some of the ways that people might discover your business. A couple of examples might be on Google. Maybe your SEO is one of the number one ways that you're driving traffic to your business. Maybe people are finding you on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter or TikTok or whatever platform it is that you're using right now. Maybe it's multiple platforms. Really understand where people are finding you. And then not only that, but how are they discovering you? Is it through keywords? Is it through engagement strategies? Is it through hashtag strategies? There's a lot of things that you could consider here. And you want to be really clear on this so that you can start initiating and building consistency with making more of that happen, right? Building momentum with getting discovered in your business. And once you have a plan and you understand where people are going to find you, then you can ask yourself, and this kind of goes back to how you make people feel, what do you want people to remember about your brand? What are some of those sticking points that you want people to have in their heads when they think of your business? This is something that happens all of the time in our day-to-day -day lives. When you think of coffee, grabbing a coffee to go, a couple of the brands that might come to mind are Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or Aroma Joe's. I think Tim Hortons is still a coffee shop, maybe, not entirely sure. But those are the things that come to mind, right? We know where to go to get our problem solved. And so we want that to be true for your business and the industry that you are in as well. So as another example in my business, I want people to remember that I help with branding and I help with social media. In a nutshell, I help people gain visibility, right? So when people come across my website, when they land on my social media, when they have an interaction with me, the thing that they are going to remember, because I'm very, very intentional about this, is that I am the branding expert. I am the person that helps you get your business seen, discovered, and the person that helps you magnetize those people into your life, your dream, dream clients. And I will say that this is something that doesn't happen overnight. You can't just decide one day to put a label on yourself and all of a sudden people will come flooding to you. This is where consistency in your branding, your marketing, and your messaging are going to be so crucial. And that's why I want you to be doing this work right now with redefining your brand identity. Because when you know what your brand identity is, then you can take that into the world and help other people understand and remember that you can help them as well. And now for the last final question in this exercise in redefining your brand identity, I want you to 
ask yourself, how are people taking that first step with you? Now, if you have been in business for some time, there are probably multiple ways that people can get started with working with you or being in your sphere, right? For example, I've been in business for almost five years now, which is absolutely mind-blowing, and I have a bunch of different initial offers, right? There are many ways that people can start to work with me, to name a few. The Facebook group, The Magnetic Boss Collective, a free community space where I get to engage with and build connections with my ideal clients. If you're joining the collective, there's a good chance that you and I might work together in the future in some capacity. So that's one way that people can start working with me for free. If you listened to the last episode, you know that there is a free vision planning document that I share, and I usually share this once a year around the beginning of the new year, and this is a free download. This gives you a document template to start planning out your year ahead. And when you grab that document, you also join my mailing list. And that is how I build connections on a deeper level with my audience. It is the first step that people take with me. Another free offer, the free brand personality quiz. You've probably heard me say this on the podcast. You've probably seen it in the show notes. This is one of my favorite free offers that I've ever created in all of these years. It converts extremely well and it's a lot of fun. And this quiz helps people really uncover what is unique about their business, what their unique positioning is when it comes to the energetics of their business. And again, this is a free offer that also includes joining my mailing list. So people get to get that free value and they get to join my mailing list where they get additional touch points from me. They build a longer, more in-depth relationship. Anytime somebody joins my mailing list, I also send them, and if you're on my mailing list, hopefully you've gotten this and you've loved it, Um, but you also get my brand board template. And so this is your vision board um, from a visual perspective. It's a Canva template where you can plug in your colors and your fonts, and it's basically everything that I do inside the brand incubator for my clients as a first step that you can DIY yourself. So that's another free offer that people get initially when they work with me. And then of course, here you are listening to the podcast. This is another free, low barrier of entry touch point for my audience for you to get to know me, to get free value, to build a relationship and to understand how you can move the needle forward in your business. This doesn't directly link to my mailing list because it's free for you to listen whether you're on my list or not, but you'll hear me like I'm doing right now, sharing my free opt-ins so that we can build that relationship and move things forward in helping you create your magnetic brand. So those are just some examples of free offers in business. Yours may look completely different from mine and that's totally okay, but that is how people go from knowing who I am, having that brand awareness, to building connection and taking the next step in working with me, whether that's in a free capacity or a paid capacity. And then the next level beyond that is more entry level um, offers. So we have the brand audit, which is a one-time video recording that you get lifetime access to where I go over your brand as a whole. I look at your website, I look at your social media, and I give you feedback in video and written form. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> and so that is one way that people can work with me as well. And then we have the signature offers. We have the brand incubator, which you've probably heard of. That is the branding experience that brings your brand from start to finish where we create your visual brand, we look at your messaging, your positioning, everything that we've walked through in this podcast together. We create your visual brand identity, your logo, color palette, fonts, all of those things. Then we design your website and all of your social media assets, any graphics that you might need. And we now take it a step further in the social media, in the brand incubator packages, the social media management packages are offered as a one-time one month trial for anybody that pays in full for the incubator. So that's been a really fun offer as well. 
And then we have the Content Connoisseur Social Media Management Packages. And those are standalone packages. They are usually for pre-existing clients. Right now, we are completely full and we have a wait list for social media management. But that's another way that people can work with the brand. So as you can see, those offers are crystal clear. And it's very clear to me how I am bringing people into those offers. How I am redefining my brand identity in the new year looks like for our business, for my business, up leveling all of the areas of cultivating relationships and adding value in building community. And that is really the focus for us for 2022. So the reason that I asked this question in the exercise is so that you can reverse engineer once you have these foundational pieces laid out in front of you, you can then reverse engineer your strategy going into the rest of the year. And if you're listening to this episode and it's not the beginning of the year, there is never a bad time to be doing this type of work. So if you're doing this now in January or you're doing it months later, maybe it's July when you're listening to this episode, just know that it still applies and it's always, always a good time to be doing this foundational work. Okay, so that wraps up the Redefine Your Brand Identity Worksheet. Again, if you are driving and doing something that involves you not being able to write these answers down right now, just remember that you can go inside of the Magnetic Boss Collective under the files, and this will be a download for you in there, um, a fillable, printable document that you can do whatever you wish with. So make sure that you get access to that. Uh, the link will be in the show notes for that. And if you want more support, more handholding, or you're really wanting somebody to do this with you, we do have a couple of spots open for 2022, six spots to be exact, um, for the brand incubator experience, which is where we do all of this work together. Okay, so thank you so much for listening, and I will catch you on the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe wherever you are listening so you don't miss a thing. Your iTunes reviews help the show impact more magnetic bosses just like you. If you leave a review or listen to this episode, share the episode on Instagram and tag at calandra.martin on Instagram so I can thank you personally. If you're craving community and connection with like-minded entrepreneurs, join us inside the Magnetic Boss Collective on Facebook, where you can build relationships and share your business too. Until next time, Magnetic Boss.